Hi YouTube. So we had major snow melting over the night. So I'm able to go outside and test the excavator. Uh, I got a few things I have to do first. Let me show you. So before I go outside, I have to fill up the counterweight with some, yeah, counterweight. So, and also I have to put some grease on the cylinders. Because if you don't put grease on these, uh, these nuts, <laughs> yeah, I said it, these nuts, they will get hot and self-destruct. So put grease on them and that's everything. Put weight in and put some grease on. And I also put in a sound kit. Uh, it's down there. It's hard to see, you know, this is professional work. <laughs> So let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, I'm let me put on the lights too. There we go. So what I'm doing, I'm rubbing this grease on the cylinders. You don't need too much. Uh, this will be enough for now. So once you're done with this and you start the machine, you run the cylinders in and out a couple of times so that you even out the grease. So I got some dirty old wheel weights uh, that I'm going to shove down there. I think that's enough, if not, I'll just fill it up later. So we have to put on the cover as well. So let's figure out how much the machine weighs. Seventeen kilos. So 17 kilograms, that's a little less than what I've hoped for, but I think it will work pretty good. Uh, we'll see. I have a bigger excavator that weighs less than that, so it works fine. <laughs> now let's take it outside.
Let's let's do a stability test. I'm going to extend the arm. Very good. Let's try digging in dirt. it for this episode and also this is the end of this build series I'm very happy with how the Volvo 550 turned out and as you saw it has massive power and can also sustain its own weight by having the bucket all the way forward so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>